How's it going, boys? And 2.7%. Today we are finally playing the energy deck. Yes, I magically finished it yesterday. Because today is a holiday, so was not sure if I have time. Turns out, I don't. So, anyway, this is the energy deck. Theoretically, it can go infinite if you are lucky enough. This is the concept. You have Etherworks models, which we, uh, which we use to fetch uh, Fall of Tron. And Ashiok. We put in land destruction just because we can, not not because we need to. You can substitute this with counter spells or anything you want. Dynavolt Tower is our main win condition because that hits face. And with this combo, we can hit face relatively decently. So we have 4 Revitalize, 4 Charter Course, 2 Fair Fishes, 4 Dovin's Vetoes, 2 Ashioks, 4 Dynavolt Towers, 4 Exxon's Bindings, 4 Rats of God, 2 Quadrafaris, 3 Eterworks Marvels, 2 Fall of Trans, 2 Heliod's Interventions, and a bunch of lands. 24 to be specific. So there's a couple of cards that combo with each other. Eterworks Marvel combos with Dynavolt Tower, Dynavolt Towers combos with all these, uh, all these cards that cost, well, not a lot. And then there's our uh, Eaterworks Marvel that combos with Fall of Tron and Ashiok. And then there's Ashiok who combos with Fall of Tron. I know, not exactly the hardest thing to understand. And Heliod's Intervention in the main board because everything's a Nugan deck. When you, pl when you pl click that play button, well, better expect it to be a colorless Ugin deck. Or colorless Ugin and Olamog deck. But that's why we have Exxon's Binding, which theoretically does not counter the deck, but it makes it a lot worse, and that's what makes me happy inside. So, there we have it. And in the sideboard, we have, well, MacGuffins, as usual. Omniscience, Heliodes, uh, Fefaris, if we want to win like that, it doesn't honestly matter. The only thing that matters is Paradox Engine. Because you see, when you play a Paradox Engine, and you have four Dynavolt Towers out, this is what happens. You play any of the cheap spells, then you get enough things to cast this. Paradox Engine untaps uh, the Etherworks Marvel. Etherworks Marvel can search something out again. And if theoretically you're lucky enough, you can create an infinity loop. Admittedly, that's not necessary for this deck, but that's just how it goes. So, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens. And boys, have I told your Alexa? Alexa, subscribe to this channel. Oh yes, Alexa will subscribe because I can't trust you with this important role. Well, maybe I can. It depends. Did you do it? I hope you did, because otherwise I'm gonna have to extort you in other ways. And no one wants that. But, enough talk. Let's play. Ah, uh, let's just chart the course. He's a black deck, so it's not gonna be too much of a big deal. Ah, uh, might as well get rid of a single land. We have kind of everything to counter everything here. This good looks good. And suddenly I'm a, a, less, a lot less excited about life. Well, Etherworks models, you sadly have to go because no one loves you. Okay, not the best land, but it's fine. We kind of need six lands. Yeah, we're gonna see what happens. And by the way, thank you for all the Patreons. And if I have still not messaged you, by the way, about the magical thing of give me your discord name so I can give you the appropriate role you desire well then that's one because I'm lazy too I will do it today no pinky swears just maybe I'm gonna do it today oof that's interesting not really but hey I kinda dislike it with a passion and when we dislike something with a passion we put an excellence binding on it Ah, the world. Such a simple and trivial place, honestly. But yeah, that's how we roll. Also, it's a Sarkon avatar, so I have no idea what to expect. Another Kropsch? Come on, enemy queen. You're just a basic sacrifice deck. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Well, technically we can survive that for an extended period of time, considering that's the only thing that's happening. So, bonus points, I guess. Revitalize on uh, sorcery speed, just so I get that comment about why are you getting things done? Because I want to. What if I get the Dynavolt Tower? Then it's absolutely worth it. We know that there's nothing except the oven to Dovin's Veto, so that's useless. 
So yeah, essentially, things happening. Also, Enemy Kun does not have a lot to do. I'm assuming he's running... Oh, I forgot what it's called. Ooh, Light of the Stage. Yeah, you see, I'm not gonna allow that. I really do not want to see a Light of the Stage happen. Are you gonna do another Light of this? Please don't. Please don't. Also, I want to exile Croxa. So, that's cool. Okay, let's see. What can we actually achieve here? Not sure we have more lands than necessary in Wrath of God. Currently is not the apex predator I was hoping for. But the art's still nice. It looks like an arrow. Would be cooler if it's a sword, though, wizards. Just, you know, want to point that one out. Because, you know, uh, reasons, I guess. Or, you know, pretty much anything would be cooler than that. And we are currently experiencing what is commonly called in the magic competitive scene as magic being a competitive game with all these lands and whatnot. Technically, at least we can thin out our deck, but technically I'm also not enjoying this part currently. You can't play the Croxa. Well, you can definitely do that though, and I will lose 3 HP. Yes, boys. As time has passed, I have slowly learned that Croxa deals 3 damage if you discard the land. Which is not terrific, honestly. Whoa, there! That's the most smartest thing I have ever seen anyone do with a deck this dumb. Are you... a prophet or something? Please give me something. Oh, come on! How hard it is to actually give me something that's uh, relatively even... Okay, now we're probably gonna get the, 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 the stupid tower. You know, that doesn't do anything. Or another eater, eater whatever. Ah, oh, come on, we have Quadrafaris, Fey of Fishes, we have, we, we have the whole nine goddamn yards here, game. You know, you can't exactly deny me that. Also, we're extremely cro close to Crocs of Savagery. Not really, but hey. Also, I'm hoping that the three cards in his hand are Mayhem Devils, because honestly, fuck you. So, there's bonus points for that, I guess. Hmm. What is he contemplating? There's not much to contemplate. Oof, that was a hard decision. You definitely are a prophet. Okay, at least that did not take five centuries to figure out. Hey, I would press to uh, put one loyalty counter on things because why not at this point? Ah. <laughs> uh, I bet he's mad about me. Oh, come on! Competitive Gaming 101, boys! Four... Wait, actually, let's count. Uh, so that's... Really, that's... Nine... Ten, twelve... Thirteen. Thirteen, fifteen. There's only seven lands in my deck left, I think. Or more, or less. I don't know. Not a mathematician. Usually I claim I am, but I'm kind of not exactly one. Close, though. Definitely close. Also, boys, so as you know, Monday was my last day in my job. Yesterday, Milf Boss called me and told me that I should uh, put my, uh, put my, Siriculum Vitae, Siriculum Vitae, or whatever the fuck that shit is called, uh, for business analyst, because I have an extremely good chance of getting there, because I have already worked with the head of business finances. So, you know, your, your boy's, your boy's gonna have a chance to completely ruin things. Oh, look at that! It's a card worth playing! Oh my god! Wow! Absolutely wow! Dude, do I just take into the story because reasons at this point? Or do I take... No, I'm taking into the story. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, now I'm dropping this. It's probably dead, but hey, at least it's something. Also, it threatens the Loli Chandra. But yeah. Can see... Really? You didn't even give me a second? Wow. Okay, so you have a lot of removal. That's why you're not doing anything. Good. Uh, yes, good. But yeah, you're really close to getting a Croxa out. Not thrilled at all. Honestly, not thrilled about the Loli Chandra also, but hey, that's life. 
Okay, so, need to figure out what the hell am I supposed to do here. If I drop a planeswalker, he most likely kills it. That needs to be an Ash Yogg, so exile everything he loves. That will make me feel a lot better about myself. Okay, but at least we have something to do. Watch me get something to do this turn except into the story. Okay, that's, I think, only six lands left. Honest to God, boys. Okay. <laughs> oh, boys! That's actually good! Boys, watch me make this plebeian cry inside and outside. Hopefully he has mental breakdown because of my further actions. Oh, boys! Okay, drop something that I can actually Wrath of God also. That would be cool. Come on, enemy con. Come on! Do something funny. Except something bad. Also, yeah, that- Oh! Oh, is that your pl Oh, I'm s- so oh, oh, is that your genius great, great to play you? Oh. Will I actually- You think I could actually- Nah, there's no way I die. I- 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 Also, we're drawing a land, aren't we? Oh god, that's a lot of Ashioks. Well, enemy kun! You have Croxes? I have- Uh, not- Croxus, but I have Ashiok. Yeah, that's where you press the surrender button right there, boy. You know what's you, you know what's going down, my friend. You, you you know it. I know it. Oh oh oh! Wait, you have village rights. Ooh, that's actually a good card to exile. Uh, but yeah, anyway, enemy con. Yeah. Uh that's pretty bad. Not gonna lie, boy. Also, how is the deck shuffled? Okay, let's count. 6, 8, 10, 11. Whoa, sacrifice a planeswalker, aren't you a brutal boy? Damn. Okay, that's honestly completely fine by me. We're gonna heal with Heliodes and... Well, if that was not soul crushing, trust me boys. When we heal with full with Heliodes intervention... Yeah, that's gonna definitely be soul crushing. Hike, I have enjoyed tormenting you. You have probably already torn out a huge chunk of your head just because of the may Mayhem Devil Exile. And now you're tearing out more head with the Ashiok. And when, well, when I use Heliod's Intervention, you're pretty much gonna go Asmon, uh, Asmon Gold mode. So, enjoy your life. It's not the worst, but it's ne de definitely not gonna be the best. Okay, any moment now. Any moment now! Come on, enemy con. Don't you lightning bolt me. Good. Oh, look at that. Something. Uh, five, nine. Nine is a decent number. Pip, pip. And this. Well, enemy con. I seriously hope you're not gonna lightning strike me. That would be annoying. Oh, you didn't. Oh, what a travesty. Oh, no. Yeah. Boys. How much damage has this Chandra dealt? It's, it's somewhere around 17 at this moment in time. Quite funny, not gonna lie. Also, I have a feeling he could kill Etherworks Marvel. Oh, good! At least it's thinning. There should be three lanes, basic lanes left, maybe at best? Or two? Yeah, two. Okay, uh, it's safe to assume that this moment in time. There is absolutely no way that we're gonna... Soon we're gonna stop drawing lands, boys. I promise. Also, he didn't kill it. Which means he does not have the uh, the two red, one black costing card. I think he would have already used it because honestly it's the only target he has for it. But that's fine. Sacrifice an artifact. Well, I get one energy from it because it counts itself. What a chad. Well, he's using cards at <laughs> least. Ah, this game, boys. Competitive. So, onward we go. Yes, just just make a little bit more 4G spirits and it's fine. Just a little bit more. Enemy con, come on, just, 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 just a little more. Oh, God. How is this game so long? How have we not drawn anything? Oh, look at that. Finally, the low-costing things. Oof. 
Well, actually, we have had a lot of low cost. Okay, that's nice to know. Uh, not gonna drop the Ashiok. We can still fall of Tron plus Ashiok, so that's gonna be good. Admittedly, the bad part is we need to drop Ashiok first. And that's not exactly the play I want to make. Because I have a feeling he kills Ashiok. And that makes everything just a lot more worse for me. Oh, light up the stage! Oof, oof. A torch courier? Seriously? Well, now I have an excuse to, uh, Wrath of God, honestly. So, uh, that's nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that! A land. Magic. A competitive esports. It's so competitive and loved uh, that Magic the Gathering is botting their own views, by the way. Just, just keep that in mind. No, seriously, if you think that's not true, look at it. Uh, the stream has uh, 3 to 10k viewers on average, and uh, well, the chat speed is like it has, has like, I don't know, 1k at best. <laughs> oh, this game should completely abandon the esports scene. It's just not worth it. Well, I guess that's a use for it. Okay, enemy con. What now? You attack. Yes, makes perfect sense, maybe. Oh god, that fall of Tron is not gonna be good, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna be pleasant. Okay, let's see. Oh god damn it, a Dynavoltober! Finally, boys, it's been 17 billion years. Bam, Red of God acquired a little bit of that sweet, sweet juices. Wow. Game, please. And you know what? Just, just, just to be sure. You're gonna probably kill it, but that's fine. And now, ju just in case you're dreaming of that Croxa play. Yeah, it's not happening. That actually exiled. Well, that milled the wrong cards, honestly. It's still fine. It's, it's 100% still fine. Do you think he has the... There's no way he has the cat oven, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like he plays the cat oven at all. Interesting. Well, I guess it's not exactly that interesting, but Ashiok's dead and we all know that part. Okay, great. Actually, he's not dead just yet. Well, oh, right. He still has that. Oh, what a game, boy. Come on. Oh no, don't attack my Ashiog, the humanity. Oh no, can I get a fall of Tron, please? Three, please. Oh, village rights, oof. Are we secret? Well, we're always secretly a mill deck. But yeah, this time it looks like- Oh my god, you do have cats and ovens! What the hell? Or maybe you just have an oven. Wait, are you an actual cat oven deck that magically did not draw anything? <gasps> A planeswalker. Wow. Boys, this is the most be best shuffle ever. Oh, he also... Dude, how unlucky has this guy been? Well, honestly, we have also been quite unlucky with the draw sequences, but still. Wow. Oh, Exelon's Binding! Yes, sir! Thank you, sir! Noice! Finally, we can get rid of the stupid Chandra. Oh, God. There we go. There we go, boys. Took forever. Also, sad part is we can't actually use the Fari here. Also, we could, by the way, add a little bit of Cotton's Bastions in the deck so we can prolif. But that honestly is never a problem because Ashok's kind of not a win condition. And, you know, on normal circumstances, we can replay him almost an uh, infinite amount of times. 
Oh, there are so many questions and so little answers currently. Like, what's going through enemy con's mind? Why can't I use the Fadis plus one now? Oh wait, it's because I fear to mill my Fay of Wishes. A Dynavolt Tov, that's actually not bad. Okay, let's see what we get. Boys, let's get something good. Is that our last land? Dude, game, please, stop. Stop. Wow. Absolutely speechless. Our land pool rate is, well, the best that ha it has ever been. So, do we, how many lands do we have? Uh, let me g see. Oh, we actually t have two, f uh, one glacial fortress and two hollowed fountains left. Wow. Okay, chart the course. Finally, can we actually get something rolling here? Let's see it to believe it. Okay, a bit of energy. How about an Etherworks Marvel? Chart the course yet again. Actually, chart the course here is a little bit better, arguably. Because we can then finally use the Faris plus one here. Also, that's a decent amount of energy. Also, we still have two Etherworks Marvels, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Boys. What can I say? Oh, look at that! It's Fall of Tron! Finally! Wow! The prodigal sun finally appears! We have almost milled ourselves out of existence, and you know, now, now it decides to just show up. The guy has 17 cards left! Game! Please! I have no lands left now. But yeah, here you go. Also, everyone has wanted me to make a Fall of Tron deck. I will not say that I'm gonna count this fully, but yeah. Also, the reason why Fall of Tron here is cool is because Dynavolt Towers allow us removal and Etherworks Marvels is gonna allow us uh, those magical, pabagical things called... Just gonna take basic lands here, no big deal. Let's see, what can we get here? AMAZING! At all? <laughs> Dude! Game! Please! This is the first shuffle deck of my life! Why? Wow! Dobbins, yeah, sure. Dude! Is my favorite fish is gonna be the last card I have? Serious question. Is it gonna be legitimately the last card in the deck? Also, those Dynavolt Towers are accumulating a ching. Nice! Okay, uh, great. Great, absolute- Oh, look at that! Something castable. Amazing. Well, we might as well slowly but certainly start killing- Oh god, another Fall of Tron. Amazing. Okay, where's my Fairfishes? There's no way I actually have used two Fairfishes now, is there? No, yeah, that's just one for your fishes. Game, please. Also, I'm gonna get the, the Fadi's ulti. Just not gonna exactly do a lot for us. Oh, look at that. Well, it's actually better than Dovin's Veto, so that's cool. Also, bam. Also, it, it wizards. It's time to actually put a lightning animation in your stupid game. You know, this could be like a... You know? Oh! Well, a land. Great. Exactly what I wanted in my life. Oh, look at that! It's actually something redundantly useful to a degree. Holy! <laughs> I, I, what, what can I say? Look at this. Look at this game. Competitiveness is probably felt through the goddamn roof at this point. Look at this, Dynavolt Tower, engaged! You're gonna sack it, but no one cares, you understand? Oh god, you didn't even sack it, huh? Okay. Okay. So, do this. By the way, do I even care to cast the Fadi's ulti? Oh god, a, a castable card. 
I'll take it. Seven cards left, boys. Dynavolt Towers engaged on full throttle. Amazing. You know what's the worst part? We need to put all these lands back in the deck. Now Exxon's Bindings. Oh, there I've got! Wow, so cool! Okay, let's... I'm starting to seriously worry about the fact that how the hell... Is, is, is Fae of Fishes seriously the last card in the deck? Wait, the Fae of Fishes is still- Oh, no, 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 That would actually make me lose the game. No. No. If they- Oh, God. If they- if Fae of Fishes is the last card in the deck, I don't have enough mana to cast... Oh, thanks. Sweet baby Jesus, thank you. Oh. Oh my god. Woo! Boys! Boys. What can I say? Disgusting. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so now we get cleansed the mine, and that's a wrap. Actually, we can do the Far East plus one. Because one of those cards is going to be... Well, actually, two of those cards are supposed to be uh, the thingy. And here we get it. Okay, let's ditch the Ixalan's Binding. Yeah. <laughs> a competitive masterpiece, boys. A 100% competitive masterpiece. Nothing more, nothing less. But the good part is we can finally start casting Aetherworks Marvel. Which will mean our deck is actually gonna FINALLY FUNCTION! It took 50 goddamn years, but our deck will finally start to function. Ain't that absolutely amazing. Around the time we can just mill the guy into submission, our deck is gonna finally start functionality. My jaw is on the floor. 10 out of 10, boys. 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh god. I also probably should get something... That, uh, well, there is no way actually to do it. Uh, but something that puts lands into play is, like, super, super lucrative for this deck, obviously. But yeah, that's a decent amount of energy. Too bad it took 20 minutes to achieve this point in life. Activate. What are we gonna find, boys? Well, not a lot, but here's Ashiok. Nice. Okay, let's mill him a little bit more. Just to establish where he is and where we are. You know? That's fine. Okay, now we're gonna skip the turn. We don't care to use the Quadrafari anymore. We're, we're, we're at the... We're, we're far beyond... Don't surrender. Don't, no. Sad. Okay, so here's the funny part. That was one game. <laughs> what a display, boys. <laughs> what a display. <laughs> so, he actually- wait, did he have cats? We didn't check. Maybe he doesn't have cats. Are cats banned? No, cats are not banned. I have played against cat oven. Oh, and also, we're doing the uh, daily quest. Uh, cast one creature. At this rate, it's gonna take us at least 12 hours, but we're gonna finish it. Uh, yeah, we have time for one more <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, this happens every time we make a Fall of Tron deck. I don't know, I don't understand, by the way, why you boys actually want or like it so much. I personally find nothing enjoyable in Fall of Tron on a basic level. <laughs> but you people, for some reason, really like it. But admittedly, it's good in this concept, because you can just Dynavolt over things to oblivion and then you can just again uh, use the etherworks marvel to just get stuff out oh look at that it's the deck i have zero respect for aggro 
Let's see. Also, I'm gonna keep that. Actually, is Dynamo Tobit? Yeah, it's actually the weakest card here. Wow. Yeah, but I'm not... We, we have Tefari, we have Chart, and we have Fey of Fishes. And we have this. The biggest. God, I love the art. Actually, there's a lot of art I like. I kind of like Chart the Course art. Even though it's 100% degenerate. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate this card so much. It's stupid. It's annoying. It's bad. Well, it's not technically bad, but you get the point. It can sacrifice. I don't like that. Okay, so, you know what we're gonna do here, boys? We're gonna get rid of this. This had the best combo with Dynavolt over, but now it's kinda gone. And next turn, we're, 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 well, we're exploding things. Yep. Okay, wait, are you gonna do nothing? Really now? Enemy con. Are you gonna do nothing? Seriously, you're gonna do nothing? Well, okay. Bam, I guess? It, it will allow me a free qu uh, quadrifari turn, so it's good. Well, actually, I'm probably gonna excellence. You didn't even sacrifice- you- you- you a Johnny Avatar! Dude! Wait. I know what this is. So, you know what's gonna happen? Uh, he's gonna Ixel on Bindings my Quadrafati, and I'm <laughs> I'm essentially gonna do the counter play, which is the exact same thing. It's kind of funny, but yeah, Ixelon's but banishing the light. You little shit. Wrath of God, no, thank you. Okay, so well, I can still get rid of enchantments, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, I want my whatever his name is back. Thank you. Okay, so it's like nothing happened. Uh, get rid of the Ash Yoke, it's not exactly lucrative at this point. Six lands, that is enough to start doing things, and we can slowly start to search for the Dynavolt over. Uh, nope. And actually, that's kind of a nope, but I'll take it. Let's first do this. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Man, look at those land draw raids, boys. It's like, we are... Okay, questionable, but that's fine. Oh, look at that, the land. The game! Do I need to put 22 lands now in the game? Okay, that's one more land. Also, we're extremely close to... Okay, that's Fall of Tron, actually. What are the chances we want it like that, huh? Well, why not, right? We can just keep it like that, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna be taking Omniscience. Don't ask me why. But the answer is because reasons, obviously. Did we sack a Fey of Fishes already? No, good. And in the Exile there's nothing, because this is in play. Uh, 6, 7, yeah, that's fine. Why are you looking at my Fey of Fishes... Oh, because I hate you, that's why. Makes sense. Uh, Fall of Tron can go bye-bye here. <laughs> okay, Glass Cat- Wait, you're out of cards? Dude! Don't you attack my Tefari, he's useful at the moment. Okay, so, do this, see what happens. It's a Dynavolt over. You know what? Wrath of God, get the fuck out. And now we can play the Dynavolt over, finally! Boys, look at this. Look at how fast the combo actually works. Look at how redunculously fast this combo actually works if, you know, there's there's this magical thing called, I don't know, card mixing. Should have probably not done that just yet, but it's fine. Also, your boss 3 kit can go, I don't know, do something else, I don't care. Well, it's honestly, okay, so let's do this. Let's see what happens. A land, surprise, surprise. Okay, now we're gonna get a bunch of free turns because... <laughs> because reasons! Look at this! It makes no sense! Okay, that's actually useful because we have a Dynavolt Tolbera. Okay, Fall of Tron, you know what? Not gonna keep that. 
Chart the course. That's that's what I'm talking about, boys. A little bit more of that oomph. Uh, get rid of that. And actually play this. See what happens. Yes, get a little bit more of that. We can now blast boss 3 kit with something for a little bit of... You know, added beneficial value, I guess. Uh, play this. You know why? Because reasons. Do this. See what happens. Oh, a Heliodes No One Cares Invention. Wow, what a card. Oh, that's actually useful, kind of. Okay. Oh, boys. Will you look at that? Uh, don't pay it the alternative cost. And now let's destroy something. And by destroy something, I obviously mean, well, dreams. Ah, oh, yes, boys. That's my fey of fishes. It's here and it's staying. Also, we can do this now, which is amazing. You know why? Because this! Activate! Uh, you know what? Kind of lucrative. And you see, we get back. <laughs> How do you like that, you little shit? Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, we only... Why do we have so little cards left in our deck? Kinda disturbing, not gonna lie. Also, time to do this. And you know what we're gonna do with that? Well, a lot, trust me. Alternative cost, do this. Amazing, get five of those things. Even more amazing. Play this, amazing. Get, get that, get a bunch of cards. Oh my god, it's amazing. Uh, do this. Uh, do this, why not? Oh, look at that, a Dine of Altober. who would have thought? Okay, uh, now we can do this. Activate this, see what happens. Uh, not a lot happens, but we can do this. And get something new out from the whatever board. Boys, have you any idea how smoothly currently our deck is performing? This is what it's supposed to do. And now we want... Well, wait, do, wait, wait, where's our Fall of Tron? I don't know, but we're gonna get the engine thingy going. Okay, get rid of the lands because no one cares. Uh, no, 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 no! Damn it. Okay, minor setbacks, as they say. Honestly, nothing to concern yourself about too much except a lot. So that's gonna give us a little bit of Dynavolt Povers. Let's see it to believe it. Let's so let's do this thing. And now let's do this thing. And that that's a lot of energy, if I'm not mistaken. Uh not too useful. We can blast him. And you know what? We can blast him again. Because you know where enemy cons dreams are? In the goddamn gutter where they should be. Oh yes, boys! See what I said about kinda infinity, but not really infinity infinity? Yeah, it's a concept. Okay, don't want this now. Let's see it to believe it. Let's play an Ashiok, just because we can. And now, let's pop the turnover to enemy cut, so he gets to enjoy the game a little bit. For the, the last whatever this is gonna be. But see how smoothly this goes when the cards are actually mixed, not uh, hashtag magic the gathering uh, rng Yeah, it suddenly becomes a lot better. I know. I know. It's a thing. It's a magic thing. Oh, you're playing a boss kit, boys. Trust me, I don't care. One, I can actually blast everything you own to smithereens. Uh, two, I can counterspell him, but do I want to do that? No, I'm a nice person. I will just kill them with lightning. Or, you know, the first thing that actually is close to that. Let's pop a little bit of that Fable Passage. Okay, now let's do this. Now let's do this. Oh, we can actually activate this already. It's fine, trust me. Uh, do we... Oh, no, that's just a Dynavolt over Perfection. Okay, get rid of this and that. Okay, boys. Uh, do this. Yes, yes, yes. A bunch of those things pop. It's seven. And now we can finally get the Paradox Engine. 
drop the paradox engine, suddenly, well, everything becomes a lot paradoxical. Everything untaps. Oh, and you know what? That's completely normal also. You know what happens now? We do this! You know what happens now? A bunch of things. Things I can't really explain uh, with my heretical whatever, but yeah. Uh, now we're just gonna punish enemy Kun for existing. Essentially, that's kind of the golden point here. Okay, do this. Oh, look at that. Chart the course. Look at this. Another free Terrorworks Marvel search. Oh, wow. What, what a time to be alive. I know. Isn't that right? Anyway, uh, we can... No, we're not exiling just yet. We need to find Fall of Tron. Oh, there it is. Found Fall of Tron. Okay, suddenly everything makes more sense than you can ever imagine. Or less sense than you can ever imagine. Also, that just happened. That's pretty cool. You gotta appreciate at least that animation. And well, I enemy Kun, you have nothing of value left in life. What a great time to be alive. And we play this. And again, more free shenanigan stuff's going on. Okay, let's see another fall of Tron. You know what? I'm actually okay with that. It's it's free real estate at this point, so you know, I I get double the lands back. And now we can, well, just flat out kill her, just because we can. Not because we need to, but at this moment it's just more about proving a point. And, uh, Dynavolt Tower yet again, I am extremely okay with that, because look at this. LOOK AT THIS! Oh, boys. Now we can just blast his face a bit. It honestly takes time, but time is a luxury we can actually afford to uh, to waste as much as we want here. Uh, yeah. This is called when a plan comes together. What can we actually search here? Well, actually, yes, you know what? I'm gonna do it. We have one fay of fishes anyway. Oh, boys, look at this. Also, get, get that thing. Bam! Energy. It's, 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 uh, well, what, what, this is, this is why people want free energy, because look at what, what happens when you get free energy. It becomes questionable. Amazingly questionable, to say the least. Admittedly, we can't do anything now. Oh, wait, we can. We can always pop this bad boy. And now we can pop into the store. Am I milling myself anytime soon? No clue. It should be good, though. Oh, wow, look at this. Stuff just happened. Uh, I'm gonna blast you once. I'm gonna blast you twice. And you know what, enemy con? Have, have that free turn, you know? How many cards do I need to discard? Oh, one? That's not impressive. Anyway, enemy con. Uh, perfection. I wanted to just say hello. <laughs> Yeah, you see, this is what happens when the deck actually works properly, not Magic the Gathering Arena RNG shuffling. Yeah, it's 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 pretty good. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. This is why we needed well essentially three days to make this deck. And yeah, I know, it doesn't seem like it has a lot of energy creation, but if you get the things the right order and whatnot, this is just uh, well. A perpetual energy generation machine. And that's pretty neat. So, anyway. This was Quasar Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out all of the good stuff. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.